This is a 95 Nissan pickup and I'm looking at it from the um, intake manifold side and way down in there you can see a couple little hose clamps. There's a L, like an L-shaped or 90 degree shaped hose bed that comes directly off the manifold which I believe is a press fit. One clamp in the distance and one in the foreground. The one in the distance is clamping the hose on. The one in the foreground, I made like a band-aid out of a piece of hose and put a smaller clamp on it because what I've heard from other people trying to do this job on YouTube is that they pull the entire manifold off. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I'll let you know. All right, so I took the alternator out. I couldn't get anywhere near the area to, or not close enough to really do anything good there. But that little elbow is actually corroded off over on the end where that hose goes on. And I shoot this from the top side down. And if you look at the, the part down at the bottom of the picture closest to me, um, that's right where the, the clamp should go on. That little nipple that, stip, that goes beyond the retaining ring on the clamp um, is actually largely rusted away. Um, you can see that elbow. The little hose right there does a U-turn and it, um, it looks like it attaches back behind there right next to the block or right next to the intake manifold. And that little nipple sticking off there is rusted away on the back side. And then right on the inside of the retaining ring next to the elbow, there's another tiny pinhole. But I think if, I, if the hose is still good, if I can get the hose clear out next to the elbow and put a band clamp on it instead of the wire clamp that was there, it might hold. So I managed to get a clamp on that thing um, with it right up next to the elbow. When I found the hose, it was back below that um, kind of like retaining ring on the on the um, fitting, but I got it to slide all the way up where I think it actually belongs there, um, right up next to the elbow, so it covers everything that I know that leaks. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it back together and give it a shot. I'm going to go ahead and bypass my heater while I'm at this. So these are these are my heater hoses, and that's where they used to go through the firewall um, to the heater. I haven't been using the heater anyway because I live in Florida and we need it about six days out of the year and the cable was broken down inside the dashboard. So I'm going to um, just put a little loop in this whole thing so the water will flow through the heater hoses. Um, since the leak is on the bypass loop, this will lessen the pressure and the load there theoretically and I'm not using the heater anyway. The big question is if I solve the actual leak or not. That's the big question. All right, so I'm cautiously optimistic that I got this. Uh, don't see any leaks down there. And my new um, bypass up here is warm, so there's water going up through it. I put a couple little protectors on it to keep it away from things that aren't supposed to be warm. And I don't see any leaks down underneath. So after driving around the block a couple times with the air con on, the temperature gauge is still good. I think we got it. Anyway, if the video's up, I got it.